unlock the secrets of cunnilingus mastery. Most people are unaware of the intricacies of cunnilingus, leading to unsatisfied experiences for women. This guide aims to enlighten both men and women, dispelling misconceptions and providing a path to sexual enlightenment through understanding and communication. Your first step is to create an environment where she feels cherished and at ease. Many women may feel self-conscious about their bodies during oral sex. It's crucial to reassure her with your actions and words, making her feel beautiful and desired. Foreplay is the cornerstone of cunnilingus. Dive into kissing, hugging, and caressing her body, ensuring she's fully aroused before proceeding. The average time for a woman to climax is 20 minutes, so take your time. Consider using a tingling arousal lubricant to heighten her sensations. Avoid plunging into oral sex abruptly. Instead, tantalize her with slow, sensual movements. Start from her neck, gradually working your way down to her inner thighs, teasing and building anticipation. This slow exploration not only heightens her arousal, but also conveys your adoration for her body. Step four, the gentle touch. The clitoris is a treasure trove of nerve endings, so handle it with care. Begin with light, vertical licks and broad, consistent strokes. Avoid overstimulation, which can lead to discomfort. Your goal is to arouse, not to assault. Step five, the erogenous expedition. Discover the map of her pleasure by exploring her erogenous zones. These are areas that, when touched, can elevate her arousal. The non-vaginal zones include her mouth, ears, neck, breasts, and inner thighs. Vaginal zones encompass the clitoris, G-spot, and other sensitive areas. Stimulate these zones with your fingers or a toy to enhance her pleasure. Step six, the multidimensional approach. Women can experience orgasms in various ways. Some may climax from non-vaginal stimulation alone. For many, the magic lies in stimulating multiple zones simultaneously. This can lead to more intense orgasms. Experiment with fingers, toys, and even vibrators to discover what works best for her. Step seven, reading her rhythm. Pay close attention to her body language. The way she moves her hips, legs, arms, and back can provide clues to her pleasure. Adjust your technique accordingly, whether she's signaling for more pressure or a different focus. Step eight, the consistent climax. As she nears orgasm, maintain your rhythm. Consistency is key. Do not deviate from what is working. Her body will guide you to her climax if you stay focused and committed to her pleasure. Step nine, the post-orgasmic embrace. After she experiences her peak, hold her close. Cuddling not only deepens your bond, but also enhances sexual satisfaction, making you a better lover in the process. Conclusion. The journey to mastering cunnilingus is not about rote techniques, but about learning and adapting to your partner's unique desires. With patience, attention, and a willingness to learn, you can become a cunnilingus connoisseur, bringing your partner to new heights of pleasure and strengthening your connection in the process. I remember the very first kiss that special moment that the touch of your lips Cause it felt like I was dying It took my breath away My heart started crying Joy found the day That I fell in love with you Cause it felt like I was dying it took my breath away, my heart started crying Joy found the day that I fell in love with you Cause it felt like I was dying It took my breath away, my heart started crying Joy found the day that I fell in love with you